Hey Brian, let's take a look. You're not Brian. Hey Sam, let's take a look at your fashion tag. Um, I don't know who you are because you don't name your folder. So um, if you need to, go back to the syllabus and look at um, the directions on naming your folders and your images. Just looking at this on the contact sheet, when I saw this, I mean, this is, it needs some work, but I, I really like this, uh, this shot, just with the spotlight on the lower half of his body, or, you know, from chest down. But I also like to see that you're trying a, a bunch of different things. Definitely need to work on a clean background. Why are there bottles back here? Get those out of here. The glasses are a fine addition, but yeah, you need a, a, a pretty bright um, light to justify them. Otherwise, the person just looks blind, or looks like they could be blind. Hmm. All right, we're getting there with this. And with the reflections in the glasses, you can go into uh, Photoshop, you know, for this assignment and the photo illustration assignment and clean that up if it's, you know, distracting if you need to. Not in real journalistic photos, but in these types you can. Get some nice light. Exposure looks good. Photos are just evolving into what you turned in. Just add a little bit here and there. And we need just a little bit of that light on his face. Different angles. There's that light. Too much. Maybe these are what you used and you just darken down the background. Um, but like I said, I really like where it started out. I wish you would have explored this more because this, this could have been something interesting. The guitar case and everything. Um, but again, you need to clean up your background some. So be aware of everything, even the oven light. if that Or candle, whatever it is. Um, Alright buddy, name your folders correctly next time. I look forward to seeing your photos, Sam.